Uh, what else do I do? Fucking play DBZ. DBZ's great. Played, yeah, play DBZ and Monster Hunter. Man, those games are fucking great. <laughs> you know, that's, like, like, that, that's a week done. Like that's I a week taken I out. found out some new basic bread and butter shit with 16 and yep. found out that the ability to do a hard knockdown in that game is the best thing ever. It's, it's gross. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go for I mean, you go for reset sometimes, but hard knockdowns are way, so good. way better. Which, and I didn't think that his, his grab would hit people in the air if he was grounded, but sure enough, it hits people in the air when he's grounded. Totally. And they're being comboed by an assist. It's very important uh, in the 16 like vortex yeah to have them forced to guess in many situations yeah because you, you do the vegeta and then you do the hard knockdown and then you pull sell out and then you dash to the other side and you do it early or late and then you know, you do, you do it again just do it again um yes <laughs> no exactly and like then and now the, the like you think that there's like three possible things that could happen to you on wake up but it turns out there's like eight yeah so good times I'm really fucking bad at tagging my blue life characters out. I'm like astonishing. Be smart about it. I'm. It, Be smart about it. Get literally get smarter. I panic and raw tag out. Get smarter. And then I then I get blown up. Boom! And, and, and everyone, everyone this week at the tournament that did that, all, at all times, if you're walking by, you can just look look at the line, look at all the setups. Everyone's playing, and then like every maybe twenty seconds, someone just nods their head and goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like that guy just raw tagged and got into launched a, for it. Into 2H, yeah. <laughs> and he just goes, yep, yep, yep. No, that's well, me. What we're that's me. The <laughs> yeah. is like, even if you're like getting blown up, it's like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing. It's an, it's uh, for DBZ. It's either you're either getting blown up and you're like, yeah, I learned something or yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. Or it's people that are like, I'm not even going to wait for the match to end. I know I'm going to lose. So fucking disconnect the shit out yeah. of it. You either get really salty or you're happy. No one's like, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no yeah, one's yeah, like just yeah, it is. It is not a, a game that breeds complacency. Yeah, it, it yeah, does yeah. not. It does not. Very true. I I did have a bunch of matches over the weekend though, in which I genuinely felt like I just went and threw up my fucking hands, took my hands off the stick. It's like bl- uh, Black Oku and stuff like that. It's just like. Oh, I'm being optimized right now. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm. Oh, man. I can feel. I feel the rage quits coming when the match is going way too well. Yeah, <laughs> and it's like it's again. I'm working on a perfect right now. It's like and I'm, you have a half bar left in one I'm character. I'm not gonna rage quit. I'm waiting but, for it. But if I was, this is gonna be the time that it's gonna happen. And something, something like that that got brought up too, because I was. Uh, it happened like three times in a row. And I turned and I was like, and I was like, you know, and I was like, okay, hey, because um, you know, uh, my girl was there. And I was like, are you familiar with rage quitting? You know, and she's like, uh, I can infer things from the name, and mm-hmm. we basically got, yeah. got into a discussion about it, right? And I remember, like, she asked, she's like, okay, so I, she's like, I remember when I was playing Tomb Raider, mm-hmm. and she would have moments where like it would get too overwhelming, where like she's just like everyone's coming at me from all angles, and I'm like, fuck, I'm panicking and freaking out. And so what she would do is like she'd either pause to take a break, a breather, <laughs> mm-hmm. right? But if it was too much, sometimes she would just like just put the controller down and just let herself get killed. Yeah. And she's like, I can't, de- I can't deal, I can't deal. Just kill me, just kill me. That's fine. Right. And it no was. No one gets mad at that. Yeah. And 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 so she's like, she's like, does that ever happen? Where they're just like they feel so overwhelmed, but instead of rage quitting, they just. Don't do anything, you know, because we're talking about how there's penalties I in have jail. Act, I ran into that person. Yes. And, and, uh, so, and, you know, and we're like, there's certain games where there's jail where you get penalized for rage quitting, right? Mm-hmm. And they disincentivizes people from doing it. However, that is a thing that happens. It's really rare. Yeah, it happened to me once yesterday. It, it's really rare. But sometimes you will see the person come in with their last character with a little bit of life and they don't quit, but they just stop moving. Mm-hmm. And they just wait to die because they're just so upset, you know? And it's it's a... It's a better sportsman-like thing to do than to rage quit. However, it is always followed by you hit rematch. They don't hit rematch. They let that clock run because they're going, fuck you. You're going to wait that minute, you piece of shit. You ruined it. It wasn't fun. I lost so hard. I'm going to make you wait. rage, Rage quitting is very frustrating, and it makes everyone sad. There is a new thing that I've discovered that hurts me even worse in DBZ and it makes me very upset. It bums me out. And it's when I'm that guy and I got blown up and I fought all the way to the end and I just, you know, it didn't matter. And then I want the rematch so that I can, Oh, maybe I can get one of their characters down, maybe something. And then they choose not to rematch 
because I'm not even worth the match. I'm not even worth the points. That? And I'm like, oh. That is this is like Vegeta turning his no, back on himself. That, 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 but that's a that's a rare one in the sense that like if you're if you're playing if you're playing like I don't know I, I, whatever I'll call it like I guess like sort of FGC mentality in a way or like yeah. tourney mentality you're like yeah you, let's do a set always it doesn't matter who you are we're doing a set run it be give me an opportunity players. to run it back or vice versa right yeah. and when people quit it's because they're like okay well you just bodied me this is not fun I'm leaving. Mm. But when it's the other way and it's like, I, I destroyed you, but then I leave, that's a really weird one. Um, and I, I've, I, I've never seen that happen. Well, I, I, I discovered something that I haven't seen in that long. I, I, like, I feel like I saw it a lot more back in the day with like Third Strike or something like that, where I don't know what to call this type of person. But like a lot of hit players and a lot of black Goku players are this, in which I would call them, I guess, a lab king. Mm -hmm. In that, as long as everything is going their way, they're completely dominant. But as soon as things stop going their way, they, they completely fall apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, well, you have no scramble. Is what that is. What yeah. that is. It's it's you have a you have a um, you have a game plan. You have a game plan, and it involves not letting you play. Mm -hmm. And if you guess correctly and get out of the situation and you're back to the neutral game, then you're like, oh, like, <laughs> how I, do I get that first hit I, again? And I you know? think that that might actually be that they're afraid that like that situation will occur because I had a, I had a match in which I was playing against Hit and Black Goku and some other guy, and the first two round the first round was just the most disgusting one sided. Just I couldn't do a. Fuck, like, characters got killed before I touched them. Yep. And then mm -hmm. I got to, like, mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. the one 16 dash in yeah. that knocked him out. And I was able to kill two of his guys because he just, he just couldn't come back off it. That player is layer two, right? So layer one is the ocean of bad. Yes. Layer t of the... It's the flow chart. Layer two is... And, and this is every fighting game, mind oh, you. I Every fighting game. Yeah. Layer two is the people who figured out how to steamroll you with a steamroll plan. An optimized combo that never ends. It's, it's a steamroll plan. Like, yeah. But it's the only plan they have. Yeah. And then outside of learning this sequence, there's no there's no other game plan. Yeah. Right? Um, so yeah, one interruption where it falls apart and then they've lost. And that is and those people will always crush the new new players. Oh, of course. But that's the as far as they get. The neutral's completely even. That's but, as far as they but get. What they're doing once they win the neutral is disgusting. It's the one trick pony. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so you've discovered that. That yeah, is real. That is real. It's been a long time since I've I've, I've fought. There's a lot of Laura players that are that. The, the the last yeah, Laura's that, and I remember in Third Strike I would play against like Urian and Akuma yep. players who mm -hmm. would like oh wow oh I'm getting blown up. But as soon as I would get a sweep with Dudley or something, all of a sudden the match is mine. It's like what? Yeah. what? How? Because they're waking up and they're pressing buttons, and it's like what are you doing? Don't don't press buttons. Yeah, it's yeah. like Fucking wake up. Why did you do that? Yeah, the term the term the term for that that sequence and like they call that set play. Set play. The term gets used a lot these days. Which we they're super good against a robot or a training dummy or somebody who doesn't know what the fuck is happening. Because when I was playing Laura, when AE a a sorry, when I was playing against Laura, when AE came out and a Laura started her bullshit, mm -hmm. I don't know what's I don't know what's... like set play. Set play uh, is uh, people that play that way. Like what you can do with them is you can take their matches right, and you can actually like play them all side by side. And you'll see identical movement for like the beginning of it, mm -hmm. and then there's a point where either someone blocks or wakes up, right? What, what happened? And then it's and then again, <laughs> then it goes into one of two or three directions, mm. and then every replay fits in that train, and yeah. then it stops, okay. and the breakpoints are always the same. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And until someone does something like like I don't know, wake up sure you can or something, mm -hmm. it follows a path. I think we said this in a physica for like I find maybe not with all games but with certain games it's like I'll just do whatever and maybe it's a game that Willie knows pretty well and he'll like maybe get you maybe lose the first round but you'll acclimatize to my stupid mindless bullshit <laughs> and then you'll destroy me. It's almost always like the first round you're like, Meh. why would yeah. you be doing that? Yeah, yeah why yeah, would yeah, you yeah, be yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. 
And uh, you, you learn by getting swept all the time. Good old, Rock, you, yeah, good yeah, old Roxy sweet, doing the full sweet, screen hat burst. Check your legs. Check your legs. Check your legs. There we go. He blocked it low. All yeah. right. Now punish me for doing it. All right. The now, only... if I keep sweeping after you start blocking low, that's my fault. That's your fault. <laughs> yeah. The only way a hat burst a full screen would even work is just like, it is a really fast projectile. So you'll be like, I can parry this. Fuck this scrub. And, I and, can parry it. K.O. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's when it actually could kind of work. I'm more confident in the Hatto burst than I am in your ability to react to it. Oh, God. That's always fucking great. That's I love set you, Hatto burst. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just looks around like, oh. <laughs>